Rabbit is a relatively new running apparel company, but all throughout 2021, they've really stepped up their game. So now it's time to put on some winter running apparel and take it for a run. Ten point four four miles, nine minutes even per mile, and one hundred and thirty six beats per minute today. Going for a nice and easy run along the lakefront, trying out some new winter running apparel from Rabbit. Now, before I give you my thoughts on these winter running items, I do want to go over some disclosures. Everything in this video that I'm going to talk about today is going to be something that I purchased myself, with the exception of one item, and I'll let you guys know specifically about that when I get to talking about it. But in either event. Nobody is paying me to make this video or to use any of these items and no one's gonna get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about some winter running apparel from Rabbit. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the top that I had on for today. This is called the Rerun Trail. There's the Rerun, there's the Rerun kind of quarter zip, and then this is the Rerun Trail. And this long sleeve is made out of 64% polyester and 30 six percent merino wool and that merino wool is the magic that's behind this log sleeve it's a lightweight high performance material that does a great job at wicking moisture but also helping retain heat so it's perfect as either a layer by itself and the temperatures out there today were 35 degrees fahrenheit while it was a little bit chilly for the first maybe quarter mile or so after that, I really got into a rhythm and it was the absolute perfect layer for me to have. I did have some thick winter mittens on and a winter cap, but having just the long sleeve was enough for me to keep everything nice and toasty. The merino wool isn't scratchy at all. It's super comfortable, incredibly soft, very great to have on the skin while you're running, but also just for lounging around as well. I love these kind of like performance wool winter pieces because they are so wearable. I mean, I'm pretty much in running clothes all year round all the time anyway, but in the winter I get cold really easily. So I love having these like running clothes that I also love just wearing when I'm around the house as well. So this is something that's super comfortable and I'm absolutely loving this piece. This one comes in at a price of $85. The next item that I wanna look at is the tights that I wore today, and I'm absolutely loving these tights. These are the pocket tights, tights with a Z for some reason, in fleece, and they are a full length tight. I ran in the shorts, the half tights version of these this summer, uh, and I absolutely love them. They're one of my favorite items of the year in terms of running apparel. Uh, they have great pockets that are incredibly well designed. I could easily fit two gels on each side if I need to for say a marathon, I could fit three on each of the side pockets. Plus there is a back pocket as well that is large enough to fit your phone. So plenty of storage capacity and areas to kind of sequester things so that way the pockets that you're pulling gels out of don't have to also hold like your keys, for example. So I love that attention to detail. These pocket tights, the full length ones are different than the half tights in that these do have fleece. So there are a thicker material and they're warmer on the inside. I felt very warm the entire run, not too warm, but just very comfortable the entire run. Uh, the tights are comfortably snug as you would want tights to be. They've got rabbit logo. One is on the side pocket and then you got another one on the back of the leg. So I like that there are very subtle cues as to kind of what these pants are if you're seeing them kind of out in the wild. Uh, and they also have reflective bits on the back where the zipper pulls are, so they're easier to get on and off. So you got that zipper to release it and kind of give you a little bit more space. And at the bottom, there's also grippy bits as well that help keep the tights kind of in the spot that they're supposed to, so they don't accidentally ride up. They're 76% polyester and 24% elastane, so not only are they warm with the fleece, they've also got a bit of stretchiness, which is another thing that you always wanna make sure that you have in your tights. These tights come in at a price of 115 dollars. Next, let's look at the hat that I was wearing for today. I'm absolutely like enamored with this hat. I love the color. I believe the color is called 
Baltic. It's kind of like a seafoam green. I'm not really exactly sure what you call this color. It's like a bluish green, uh, but I'm absolutely loving the color. And I love this like waffle knit. They're calling it a heathered knit material. Definitely keeps the head warm, but it's also like stretchy and not too tight. I kind of wish that it was were like a little bit more snug. It's very loose fitting. So as I was running, I did kind of feel like I kind of had to keep readjusting it a little bit. But in terms of also being able to have this as a piece that you might want to just wear around, that having a little bit of a looser fit is makes it very versatile. You could also fold it down if you wanted to get a little bit of extra length out of the hat as well, or if it's colder and you wanna double up on that layer just that's right around your ears, you can also do that. Lots of versatility, love the color, love the feel of the hat. It's super soft, it's like a little pillow. I'm going to be living in this hat. This hat comes in at a price of $32. And speaking of items that I'm gonna be living in, I'm going to be living in this high country long sleeve. Uh, the, the moment I saw this item go on sale, like I think it was about maybe a month ago, I instantly purchased it because it had something like this last year. I think it was a short sleeve and it sold out so fast and it never really went back in stock or anytime it did, it was already sold out by the time I got to it. So when I saw this available, I got it right away. I think they already sold out of their first run and they're taking pre-orders now for the second run. But let me tell you, this is such a comfortable piece to wear. Uh, and I got three words for you to describe this. Performance, plaid, flannel. I mean, <laughs> what a weird combination of words. I mean, I guess plaid and flannel go together just fine, but to put performance in front of it, it's kind of an interesting concept. But the shirt is made out of 54% polyester, which makes it basically like a tech material, but it's also got 42% thermolite polyester. And thermolite is a material that I've been loving in materials like in my running socks that I use for the winter. And it does a really great job of helping you stay warm. It's also got 4% of merino wool in here as well. So again, another performance oriented winter material. It's a piece that can perform, but also help you to relax as well. I've been wearing this mostly for lounging around. I'm just absolutely loving it so much, especially once it starts getting a little bit colder still. This shirt's gonna be really, really nice to have. This shirt comes in at a price at $85. And the last thing I'll talk about today is the one item that um, I didn't pay for. Uh, when I bought this shirt, uh, Rabbit had sent this to me as a nice little bonus. It is a neck gaiter from Boko, which I only just now realized that it's called Boko because it's a company based in Boulder, Colorado. Or at least I guess that's where the name comes from. I had no idea. This neck gaiter is, Okay, it's a neck gaiter. I, I like it. I like that it has the rabbit logos on it, so that's pretty cool. Um, it feels like a little bit um, like slippery, almost like shimmery compared to some of the other neck gaiters that I tend to wear. So I don't know if it's my favorite material, but certainly it's something that helps keep the neck warm. If you need to keep your face warm during some even colder running, then you could pull it up and it'll help keep you warm. And so that way you could stay out there running even longer so certainly very functional piece but those are going to be the winter items that i've been looking at from rabbit this year all year rabbit has really stepped it up and i've been very impressed with pretty much everything that they've been making and they've closed out the year super strong as well and i'm loving these winter pieces they're functional they look great and they've got tons of pockets for storage so like pretty much hitting all the check boxes that I wanna see from winter running apparel. And I'm looking forward to bringing these with me for all my winter adventures. If you have any questions about any of these pieces, feel free to put them in the comments down below or better yet, feel free to stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I'd love to talk to you guys in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe and warm out there on your winter runs. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yo, what's going on?